I want to share with you a new report from the BBR investigation case files from a man in the UK who's reported being confronted and stalked on a dark road by a pig snouted creature. Absolutely horrid, I know. I can't imagine what I would do in these circumstances. Simon Bray was walking past the cemetery in 1996 when he was confronted by a creature he finds impossible to describe. This horrid monstrosity launched itself at him through the railings, canines and jaws snapping and snarling. Those railings saved his life. Simon said to me, Debbie, firstly I'd like to say I've been enjoying your work immensely. I feel compelled to write to you about a strange encounter experience I had back in January of 1996. I've always had an interest in cryptids and UFO sightings. A couple of months ago, I seemed drawn into the subjects of Bigfoot and other creatures whilst researching sightings in my area of the Lynn Peninsula in Wales. A memory resurfaced, one of which I think I've buried over the years. Back in January 1996, I lived as a student in Derby City. I was walking home from a friend's house late one Sunday evening, very early Monday morning. I was walking along New Toxeter New Road, and part of the road is a fairly large cemetery on one side of it, which is separated by hedgerows and metal railings from what I can recall. I was alone, walking along the pavement, when I was startled by an almighty crash as something came through the hedge. I spun round to face something that was snarling extremely aggressively at me. Whatever it was, it opened its jaws to bear huge fangs and spit. It had a canine-like snout, and it tried forcing its jaws between the railings as if to stretch them, and then it started just clamping its fangs down, presumably to get at me. Once I realised it couldn't get through, I stepped back to have a look at the creature. And at first, I thought it was a dog, although it was no species I have to date been able to identify. It was black in colour, with a mottled grey muzzle, whiskers, huge fangs and bright yellow eyes. Its nose was more piggy in appearance than a dog's, and it did not have the slender facial features of, say, an Alsatian dog. I did notice that its ears were pointed. I just remember thinking, what the hell is this? I then got hold of my senses and I thought, if it couldn't get through the railings, maybe it'd try and get over or around them. I only saw its head, so I don't know what it was. I ran like hell down the street and turned around, but luckily it was gone. I ran all the way home. I locked the door, put all the lights on, and I just sat there, curled up on my bed, shaking like a leaf till sunrise. I've grown up with dogs of all varieties in my family and social circle over the years, and I've never seen anything like it. It felt very otherworldly. That road should have been busy with students, taxis, buses, you know, etc. But I was completely alone that night, and it was eerily silent. I never told anyone about it for fear of ridicule. Also, if the creature was a dog, why was there no aggressive noise as it never once barked or growled at me? There was just this horrific, wet, guttural snarling. Oddly enough, two years later, I was living with a girl on the other side of town and our friends never liked staying with us because of the poltergeist activity that would happen around the home. One day, I was alone house-sitting with a 5p coin on top of the teller and it shot off, landed on the carpet, pushed itself along until it got right to my feet. I ran out of the house without locking the front door. I was watching an episode of The X-Files about werewolves when that happened. Anyway, perhaps I just disturbed a wild dog that night. But over the years... None of my friends ever encountered it, despite them walking that road daily. I'll never forget its face and those eyes. The way they were staring at me will be with me forever. I've even researched rabid dogs in search of an answer, but they bear no resemblance to the creature I saw. Keep up the great work. Regards, Simon Bray.